Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Usnewa Gamkasibe and I'm back with a new video. If you are new here, hey, what's up, what it do? And thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. And if you are a regular, regular, a returning subscriber, subscriber, I uh, thank you so much for your loyalty. And today, as you saw by the title of the video, we are back with a new video with a new story time it's not really like it's a story time actually it's me telling you guys my story of how um i went through my pregnancy at the age of 15 i know sometimes guess judge guys <laughs> sometimes guess judge but the end, at the end of the day i believe we'll see everything happens for a reason and my baby is here is healthy and yeah that's on period so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So okay, guys, I want to tell you guys a background like i want to tell you i want to tell you guys everything from how i met this guy my pregnancy my struggles and finally having a healthy baby cool so okay this this guy it's not even a guy he was a boy because at that time he was about 17 and i was about 15. hectic i know hey but anyways I think I was 14 and I was about to turn 15 and he was 17 he was about to turn 18 because our birthdays are both in May cool uh, so I met this guy okay? we went to not the same school but our schools were in the same neighborhood cool so how I met him was every time after school he would pass by my house when he goes to his place not by my house as if like he would knock on the gate no but then his route made him pass by my house the route to his home made him pass by my house guys english it can be very dizzy hey but anyways as long as you guys understand me cool okay so i have this one friend you yeah, guys i had this one friend who was very very forward very very forward yes well, very forward and she would have a new boyfriend a woman is brand new a brand new boyfriend every week every fucking week cool so i would sometimes be like in my mind oh i stumble having this i stumble having a boyfriend i stumble i stumble you know every time she would come and tell me about about her boyfriend i would really stumble well and for guys and again, you know, guys, I wasn't really the prettiest when I was growing up, hey? So I, I don't know if I wasn't really the prettiest or because I had a small bum, but boys never really um approached me. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I was still young, because my friend was 16. So I don't know, okay, guys, I don't know, guys. I don't want to dwell on that. But, okay, this guy, every time we came back from school he would um come to me talk to me and at that point i was really really scared of james you know? okay we talked we talked every day same routine he would come to me we talked and then there was this day he asked for my uh, mix it handle i don't know if it's, it was called the handle or i don't remember my mix it name though and then he invited me on mixes we talked and guys mind you this was the first chance he ever approached me and we talked man we talked and and it was the first gent who said i love you to me and that made me have butterflies kesana <laughs> because i was like oh there's a guy who actually loves me guys i was stupid i know i was stupid like in nana into emity so much guys i was stupid literally i was so stupid anyways um we he asked me to come over name cool again i mean i mean i'm a virgin sometimes virgins are, are really slow so but not i'm a virgin i mind like 
back then virgins used to be really slow like for me me for instances cool i went there he fetched me nalapo i wore my palms and my ugly dress which i which we use as a scrape jenga manje um it's not a scrape man what is this yeah well after you take a bath and then you i use it as a mat yeah cool so i when i got there um he lived in J a young uh outside bedroom and we chilled there and he started kissing me guys i couldn't even kiss i couldn't even kiss so i would just move away every time he started he wanted to kiss me um and he would get so mad as in as as in like baby girl why are you here then why are you here and when i need sulele you mean give me like sulele and his book um and then i think after some time of me going there because i think I, I i would go there every week because i mean it's my boyfriend knowing exactly why he's gonna ask for sex I'll, i'd go there i'd go there still i wouldn't mind cool so i i get it we met in january and then in february was valentine's so again now i'm like yo bruh i think i'm ready like uh, me to me this is me talking to myself would see i think i'm ready and i think i'm gonna drop this rap on valentine's for my boyfriend because he's been asking for this rap and i mean why not it's my boyfriend it's valentine's day let me just do something for him I guess I I went there and then um dropi and whip. I won't really go into detail. Um we would see what happened, how cause Vele I was I was ready. In my mind I was ready, Vele. Cool. So um and I, when I left he said um you'd need to come back because if you're a virgin you don't just have sex once and then it's gone. You need to come back to finish your virginity i okay because my boyfriend knows better i will go back i guys i won't mean this guy used to used to i used to be here i literally used to be here on his hand fine guess i i would go there and then i think our beginning of march beginning of, of march i haven't turned 15 yet i'm 14 beginning of march um i went there we did the did and then he said for some reason guys i don't know how we knew it he said um i think you're pregnant i was like how can you say that i'm young bro like I, I was defensive hey and he said uh i think you're pregnant bro but then i'm not sure we can just wait and see but then i think you're pregnant um i think we can see we i can see I think you're pregnant today. Like you got pregnant today. I guess I know. I was a bit defensive, but I was like, ah man, how would he know? Sharp days went by. I one thing about me, I always get my periods um around the ninth of every month, and then, dololo. Periods. I was like, okay, maybe I'm late. Maybe let me just wait for until the fifteenth. Oh, son. Hey, Bo. Hey, I was like, I'm 14. For God's sake, I'm 14, guys. Cool. Okay, my birthday came by. My mom did something young for me, as she always does. And I, I, I knew that Louis, I'm pregnant by that time because I hadn't gotten my periods from March till till May. Oh, and I don't know how to tell my parents, you know, I don't know how to tell my parents Okay, sharp. I Months went by. I think I was around four months guys stress levels had me The only thing is I was this size. I was the because I didn't know how to tell my mom, you know Yo, guess I sharp My mom is a, a nurse. Né? My mom is a nurse. So she was once a midwife a midwife is someone who helps mummies give birth basically 
cool so mind you oh my knows this the signs of a pregnant woman obviously because she used to work with pregnant mummies cool she would see my boobs had um dark stretch marks my tummy had dark stretch marks and she was like um what's so nine dot and the woman gets it i almost because i think i was chopping and i think she was making rice we were both in the kitchen but she was like also nine dot do you have a man already i was like i will ma i will ma you know i kept on saying i will ma i will ma and she said oh okay next day Esana, she went to work and she came back with a pregnancy test yo i felt like opening the ground and getting inside Kesan. she was like here's a bucket go pee in the toilet and bring your pee to me in my mind i was like at least she's gonna know and i'm gonna have a support system because one thing about my mom my mom is very sweet guys she's very sweet as much as she's she's strict but she can be very very sweet Cool, guess I went to the toilet and I peed. Went to my mom and she tasted the pee and she was like, me, go put your pee in the toilet. Shop. I gave, um, she said I must come back to the bathroom and then she closed the door. I sit on the bucket in the bathroom and then she stood by the door. Cool. I guess I and then we waited for a few minutes and then two lines popped up she didn't even say anything she just started crying i was like as much as she's gonna cry for now but at least this this is over i don't have any secrets in my heart anymore i was like as in at least she she knows at least now like the storm is over she knows she cried guys the woman gets it she cried she cried she cried and then she left the room and went to her bedroom and she just closed the door and now i just went to my bedroom and just slept cool in the morning guys tension there was no tension but then we didn't talk to each other you know we just didn't talk to each other cool so in the morning she will she left for work and then i was literally in my room the whole day i only went out to bath and came back to my room and then when she came back she came in my room and she told me Uti, she asked me how far are you with this pregnancy i was like Ew, i don't know and she was like i get because it has already hap happened there is nothing i can do and i can't even shout at you because you don't shout at a pregnant a pregnant woman because you're gonna cause her stress and that's not good for the baby cool so she was like okay we're gonna go to um a gynae not a gynae but Uma used to work at a clinic ne? used to work at a clinic at that time and she was like we're gonna wake up in the morning and you're gonna come with me to the clinic so that we can check the how far you are with this pregnancy and so that you can start your what you call this the pills man the pills for pregnant women cool Esaina, i went with her to the clinic i was five months pregnant started my thingy my clinic my clinicking cool and after that my mom was the sweetest my mom was the sweetest guys every time she went out she would bring me fruits i would ask her to bring me whatever i'm craving and she would bring it trust and believe one thing about moms Esaina, one thing about moms so now she was she had to tell my dad because I, I couldn't tell my dad my dad is not very strict but then i don't know man i was scared like i was just so scared so when she told my dad i my dad i think my dad lost it i think my dad lost it because every time he would come and i'm sitting in the dining room watching tv with the rest of the family he would be like hey go to hell go to Go to your bedroom. Um, I need to win out some as much are you getting pregnant in my heart in my house. So yeah, one and she would he would say things like that, hey. So I, I firstly I don't blame him because I was 
15 guys like i was 15 like any parent would be mad any parent would be mad and yeah that's what's that on that the struggles were recurring get signed up because my baby my my baby <laughs> english that's english for you anyways my baby daddy um would cheat oh well, guys i mean it's, i, I used to go to bed crying every fucking day every fucking day i used to go back to to bed crying guys because my baby daddy would cheat like yeah well if i would find out that she he is cheating with clampe let's say for instance who assigned cool we will talk about that and then he would leave Asanda alone and then the next two weeks he would have all the way to in the picture we would fight about it all the way to he would he would leave all the way to and then the next two weeks he would have him back like that was literally literally how he rolled literally yeah he, he was never there he was never there for me and he would always like let's say somebody we fought about so all the way to and then we spoke things out and then now we find he would say um come over tomorrow so we can chill and bond with the baby and let me i would go silly me guess i now silly me i would go and i'd go with there to my boyfriend and when one thing about me get back in the days i would check my man's phone I would check my man's phone. So every time he left the the house, I would literally scroll on his WhatsApp. Well, no, on his on his what you call this inboxes, Facebook info inboxes. Yeah, I mean, I think he had like ten babes. Yeah, I mean, it's ten babes on his inboxes. Guys, it was hectic. Cable. And when he came back, I would be crying and he would be like, I told you not to scroll on my phone. That's the only thing I would get from him. I told you not to scroll on my phone. And he would sit on the bed because he would he would have went to buy um, food for us. He would sit on sit, sit on the bed and have the food and I would be crying there. Guys, I mean, I went through it all, shame. I'm full of with men. Lapo, I, I genuinely loved the guy, guys. I, I literally saw myself going far with this guy. Lapo was only 15 and he was only 17. Got that in a king and queen. Hey, hey. yo, I'm a But, anyways, guys, yeah, man, I think we broke up after i had a baby because that was a recurring thing he would cheat on me like every fucking week every fucking day every fucking month like that's what's that's was him G. and i decided i'm not up for this so a few months after i gave a baby i gave birth we broke up i was like bruh i can't do this anymore and you know when you're a new mom you're like hey i need to focus on my baby i can't have stress i can't have your stress you know <laughs> i was a new mom gave me that i was like i can't have the stress uh i'm just gonna move on you can do your own thing i'm gonna do my own thing Ciao. <laughs> but i was actually really proud of myself because um guys like I, I went through it all with that change like i went through it all and uh, and it's very very hard to leave someone that you genuinely love like it's very very hard to leave someone you genuinely love it's not easy at all like it's not easy but i was actually very proud of myself for breaking things up with him but anyways guys at home um my mom was consistent shim with her support she was very consistent and Jay, she was there, man. She she even booked uh, a, a a gynecologist, a private gynecologist for me. She she even booked like a private hospital for me to give birth. And Jay, my mom was honestly there, man. Like she was so supportive from the cravings to pains when I have pain. She would take me to see a gynecologist. Like Jay, like I appreciate my mom so much. 
And then I went to give birth, guys. When I went to give to give birth, my baby daddy came there because Uma wanted him to be to be there for the baby, you know, more than anything. He wanted her she wanted him to be there for the baby. Cool. So she came with him and then yeah, man, I gave the baby the birth. Uh, I gave birth to my baby boy and um he was there. We didn't have much to say to each other because Guys, I was tired. Basically, I was tired of that chant. I was so tired of that chant. But then, yeah, man, that's how I broke things off with my baby daddy. And, yeah, until this day, guys. Until this day. That's definitely not me. Me and I are me. Me and I are me. Me and I Anyways, yeah, man, they there are a lot of struggles when you are pregnant at a young age. I want Angel, I want baby shower. I am bus. I will sip and see. sip and what? Sip and see. I I don't know any any of those things, guys. J, bruh. And I I'd say would say I had a very rough pregnancy because of my baby daddy. Guys, going to bed crying all day. Not all day, man. Every day is not a good thing. Like, it's not a nice thing. I don't wish that to anyone. To anyone. Especially because of a chance. Uh-uh, man. And I, I think I learned a lot from that chance, actually, guys. Because that was the only chance I... Not the only, but the first chance I genuinely loved. Like, I genuinely loved that chance. And he was, he was just so... I don't know, non nonchalant, if I can say, but uh, uh shame. Like that was one chance, cause even till this day, I don't believe I'll ever genuinely love a change. Like it's, we could dare pay like, just for to have someone big, but uh, uh shame. Like I gave my all to that chance, and I don't think I have any anything left for another chance. Excuse me, I don't have. I don't think I have anything left for that for. A man in my life not really but I do believe that like genuine chains out there and maybe one day uh, I will change my statement and yeah but anyways guys that's the end of my story uh, if you enjoy the story please click on the like button and please click on the notification bell so that you can get notified every time i post a new video please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to comment down below as i'd really love to engage with you guys yes until we oh please don't forget to follow me on my instagram i am snare underscore kasibe i'm gonna leave the link to my instagram page and yes man until we meet again on the next video bye